State television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the strategy of the Republic of Western Armenia, 7th day of the seminar, 3.5 meter layer of snow in Bagaish, Western Armenia, Iranian foreign minister arrives in Yerevan, racist graffitis on the walls of Alevi's houses, another Armenian church is being destroyed in Turkey, Armenian virtual bridge will be expanded in 2021, today is Tigran Mansurian's birthday. Interview with Professor Samvel Hakopian. On the seventh day of the seminar, the President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, presented the approaches and proposals of the European Parliament referring to Armenians, recalling the decision on genocide adopted by the European Parliament, which clearly states that although the Council of Europe recognizes the genocide against Armenians in 1915 to 1917, Armenians have no right to make any demands against Turkey. Analyzing the decision made by the European Parliament, the President called on deputies and government of the Republic of Western Armenia and the Armenians all over the world to not accept this point and to submit applications to the deputies of all countries, including the European Parliament, in order for this bill to be reviewed. As he mentioned, the fact that Artsakh is a part of Armenia, approved by the decision of the League of Nations in 1920, should be included in the point. Touching upon the Artsakh President's policy of independence of Artsakh, he reminded that Artsakh has been a part of historical Armenia since 1920, there is no need for independence, and in general the current policy is mostly not right, as we should follow the idea of unity and not separatism, having Western Armenia as a basis. One of the statements of strategic developments discussed during the seminar says, we must work to preserve the integrity of the Armenian state. Prime Minister Seda Melikan stressed the role of the deputies of the parliament in this important matter proposing to prepare for sending new letters to European Parliament, as well as to make laws Western Armenia will benefit from. After the cessation of heavy snowfall, a fierce struggle is being waged to open the closed roads between the inter-rural and suburban areas in the province of Bitlis, Western Armenia. 274 roads were opened in the city, where the snow thickness reached 3.5 meters in some places. The process of opening closed roads leading to 20 villages continues. The teams of the Special Snow Department of the Governor's Office are working hard to open the closed rural roads. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammed Javad Zarif has arrived in Armenia within the framework of a regional visit, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Armenia informed. He was met at Zvartnot International Airport of the capital Yerevan by Deputy Foreign Minister Gagik Galachian. Afterwards, the Iranian Foreign Minister met with the Foreign Minister of Armenia, Ara Ayvazian. The meeting took place with the staff of the Foreign Ministries of two countries. The parties discussed the latest regional developments after the aggression unleashed by Azerbaijan in Artsakh in September. Iran is an important country in the region, and we respect Iran's approach to building its relations with its immediate neighbors. However, we would like to emphasize once again that only lasting peace, which addresses the interests of all, where there are no winners and losers, can lead to stability in the region, said Foreign Minister of Armenia Ara Ayvazian. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan also received the Iranian Foreign Minister. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia stated that we can further strengthen and develop our cooperation and achieve peace and stability in our region with mutual efforts. Earlier, Zarif was in Baku, then in Russia. A visit to Georgia and Turkey was also planned within the framework of the regional visit. Unknown people left an X sign and an Alevi inscription on the walls of five houses belonging to the Alevis in the Baglarbash district of Yalova, Turkey. An investigation has been launched based on the incident. Photos of the post were shared on social media. St. Thoros Armenian Church was destroyed in the western province of Turkey, Kutahya. Human rights activist Arlet Natali Avazian made a note about this. He is known for his sharp criticism of the Turkish authorities. Ermeni Haber reports. Do you have no respect for history? Will you ignore the existence of Armenians in this land by destroying the history of Armenians? The human rights activist wrote. St. Thoros Church was built during the reign of Sultan Murad of the Ottoman Empire. Although the church was demolished during the Jalali uprising in 1603, then it was rebuilt. The church once served as a hall for ceremonies and then was completely closed. The Minister of High-Tech Industry of the Republic of Armenia, Hakob Arshakyan, presented details on the Armenian Virtual Bridge Program, a project worked out by the Ministry of High-Tech Industry aimed at turning Armenia into a competitive and technologically advanced country. As a result, 45 Armenian entrepreneurs will have the opportunity to visit the Silicon Valley in 2020 to gain entrepreneurial and business knowledge and skills to present their products correctly, to meet investors and venture capitalists. 
The most important component of the project is that it will ensure a technological representation in the Silicon Valley. For this purpose, an apartment of up to 250 square meters will be rented in the city of San Jose, where participants will live and work under the Virtual Bridge program. The government sees this as the best way to make new connections and ensure a permanent Armenian technological presence. Within the framework of the project, 15 startups and entrepreneurs will have the opportunity to take a 7-week training at Draper University. Composer, honored artist of the Republic of Armenia, People's Artist of the Republic of Armenia Tigran Mansurian, is one of the famous representatives of modern Armenian classical music. Tigran Mansurian was born on January 27, 1939 and repatriated with his family in 1947. In 1960, he graduated from the Romanos Melikian Music College in Yerevan, the creative department of the conservatory in 1965 and the postgraduate program in 1967. In 1967 to 1986, he taught at the same conservatory. In 1992 to 1995, he was director of the conservatory. Masuria revived the principles of Comitas on a new aesthetic basis. He is one of the first who has involved modern compositional skills into Armenian classical music. His works originate from the Armenian folk music and ancient poems, which are presented in the modern musical language, stand out with bright, expressive melodies and tones. Tigran Masurian enriched the treasury of both Armenian and world music, bringing honor to his people. On Western Armenia TV, President of the European Academy of Conflict Studies, International Academy of Documentary Studies, Dr. Professor Samvel Hakopian spoke about the importance of saving the cultural heritage of Artsakh and presenting it to the international community. The video is available on our website and YouTube channel. Now we present you Ashna Narev by Tigran Mansurian. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.